Greetings, Ed Wagner, Barnella Winery in Tualatin, Oregon. And today we're going to do a couple videos. The first one we're going to do is a vine thinning, which uh, we're here in the middle of June of 2022. Uh, it's been very cold in April and May, so our, our vineyards kind of got a late start. But what we want to do now is we want to go through on each vine and clean it out so that uh, we're mostly leaving just those uh, shoots that have uh, shown the flowers and get rid of a lot of the extra shoots that aren't going to add any energy to the to the vine. This is a long and tedious process. What we do typically first, especially at this stage of the game where we've got a lot of growth, is we'll go through the edges here where there's obvious a lot of growth that doesn't have any uh, potential for grapes. We get rid of those first. Then we come back and we get up close we start thinning it out. The objective is, is that we, we want to have no more than two to three shoots per spur. Per our previous video, we talked about the difference between spur and cane pruning. My vineyard is uh, uh, a, 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 it's pruned with a spur concept, which means, uh, and, and Ed, let's go over right here where we can show this. This um, vine has already been thinned out and you can see there's a lot of air in between uh, the shoots. That's one of the objectives we want is we want uh, each vine to have air through it so we don't get any powdery mildew. And also what we want to do is we want to optimize uh, those vines that have good growth on them already or the potential for growth. And so we clean it all out. And you can see the difference as we turn back around here, this, uh, this row of, of, of vines has not been thinned out. So what we're gonna do right off the bat is we're gonna look and see where we have some growth here that maybe doesn't. Now, this one here is subject because it's way down on the stock here. I've got a lot of growth around it, you know, with, with uh, potential for grapes. So as much as I hate to, I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna leave this one because it's got double growth on it. It's got some growth down here. It's got some growth there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through this whole particular vine. And you can see right here, this here is coming out of the side of the stock. It's got nothing on it. We're going to get rid of that one. Here, we're going to get rid of this one. Oh, actually, this one has a little growth on it. Let me look around, see what else we've got. You get a lot of these little, little growths out that aren't going to do us any good at all. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of that one. And you can see from our do uh, dormant uh, pruning where uh, we've got some old growth here that we, we want to get rid of right here. You can see this right here. There's no growth on it. We want to get rid of that. We're going to leave this one here that's got nice, uh, nice flowers on it right now. They're going to turn into some nice grapes. We also try to keep any growth that's going straight up. These ones that are going off of the side here, and I've made my decision now, this one's too low. I want to get rid of it, even though I've got some flowers on it. It's just too low here. Chances are when I uh, put the wires on it, it may break anyway. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then also, if you look down on the stock, you can see that you always get these little, little growths on the stock. We want to get rid of those as well. And so when we're all done here, I'm just going to do a little work here. I'm going to look in here and see what I want to get rid of. It's hard to see from the video, but the objective here is to get maybe two or three shoots per spur. And they you want some nice clearing between them. You can see right here, this one here is a, a one that's growing underneath, especially the ones that are coming up from the bottom because uh, typically they're harder to control. They're pr probably gonna break. Here's another a dormant. You can see this one in here. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna clip this out even though we have a little growth there. I've got two, two shoots coming out of this knuckle as it is. So we're just gonna get rid of that all together. Sometimes it's hard to get the clippers in there. And then lastly, you can see there's another one right underneath this knuckle. And we're going to get rid of that one. And then there's a tiny little one right here. We're going to get rid of that. So what we end up with here, in fact, there's one more here. It's got, it's got a tiny, it's got a tiny little flower on it. But I got two big ones here that they've got nice flowers going. I'm going to get rid of that one too. 
So essentially, this is kind of an example of how we approach, you know, one spur and we try to clean it all out so that we end up with two nice um, uh, growths coming out of this one, uh, one spur here. And uh, this, we're gonna do that through the entire vineyard. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, but what this does is it allows our grapes to really develop nicely and we hope to have the highest quality grapes we can get. These are Pinot Noir um, vines. Uh, our last four rows are Chardonnay and um, we've had very good success making our wine from these grapes. And uh, that's gonna be it for, uh, for this video. Uh, look for a video coming right behind this one. We're gonna talk about a time-lapse photography video that we're doing over the five months of the growth of our, our grapes on uh, our vineyard. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, by the way, some of you have asked me to translate into Arabic and some other foreign language languages. Unfortunately, I'm only speaking English, so you're gonna have to find some help. But we've had over 50,000 views on our videos now, which is uh, really amazing to me, our small little vineyard here. And um, don't forget, those of you that live in Oregon and California that watch our videos, you know, if you're interested in some of our award-winning wines, uh, go to barnellawine.com and you can order right from there and we'll be happy to ship them to you. Thanks a lot. Until the next time, happy wine drinking.